Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about some dog training that probably should not be happening and you guys shouldn't be doing it. Now, if I smile during this, um, I don't think any of it's funny. Some of it's embarrassing. That's probably why I smile. Which, what's more embarrassing is that many of these trainers have thousands and hundreds and millions of followers who follow their stuff and do it. And I understand it and I get it. A lot of stuff sounds relatable. A lot of people are physical in nature. So they think an animal they should be physically with when it's truly the opposite. So this first person we're going to talk about, his name is Gary Wilkes. And he used to work at a shelter. And when he worked at a shelter, he probably abused dogs there for years. And everybody thought, oh my God, Gary's got great, you know, he's a great guy. <laughs> he, he definitely should be doing it. And what his tactic was, he would take a nice thick towel, roll it up, and beat the dogs with it. He was trying to start submission. He wanted the dogs to submit to him, depress the dogs. So that was his method. He's in a room with uh, hundreds of women, and he's actually whacking a dog upside the head during this training session. And everybody's laughing and enjoying it. He, I mean, the poor dog looks so demoralized. But, you know, when I get clients sometimes that have behavior problems with their dogs and they bring them and we're evaluating the dog and the dog is going through some stuff, they really have a hard time admitting they did a lot of this stuff. Now, not all skittish dogs are abused. Some dogs have that in genetics. But if you are ashamed to tell someone else, the training that you've done with your dog, that's enough to let you know you shouldn't be doing it with your dog. So we're going to watch Gary beat up on some some dogs in a hotel by chance with a lot of pet owners who are laughing and giggling while he does it. And then we'll get right back to you. Bobtail Labrador. <laughs> He's pretty. Pass me that. Thank you so much. Now, out of a clear blue sky, no. What did he just do? He came right back at me. Come here, bud. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Now, the, the scientific behaviorists would tell you that somehow or another this dog is now going to attack me. Are you going to jump? You're going to jump. Oh, you can jump on me. No, you're not. They don't do that. The point is that these animals are designed to, yes, you want to retrieve this. I know you do. OK, bud. <laughs> no. Now, I said the word no because he had it in his mouth. And no. I mean, do you see? His brain's oozing out. No. He just takes it. And then he doesn't hate me. His brain's oozing out. No. He just takes it. And then he doesn't hate me. His brain's oozing out. No, he just takes it. And then he doesn't hate me. He's wagging his tail. But wait a minute, I punished him. He's giving me kisses. The idea that these dogs are so fragile that if you're hard on them, they're going to die or they're going to attack you and rip your throat out is absolutely nuts. But the point is that the way this dog was a minute ago, hard yet, because there's some ladies back there that are quite attractive and we don't want to hit them. I'm going to bring it back, and as I bring it forward, I'm just going to let it go. That's Kim. Kim's actually her trainer. Got it? Okay, so let's do that again. At the instant she starts to bite your hand, I want you to say, no! Oh. 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 Now, that sounds worse than it is. I promise you. It's a towel, okay? Okay, now. All right, and that was fun. 
So we get to watch Gary beat up on dogs and people pay him to teach them how to beat their dog up. Now, I don't think that that is something you need to be doing. I train protection dogs. I train these dogs to bite, fight, and everything else. And then I have to train them in obedience. And I've never once had to beat my dogs up to get them to do any of the things I want. Proof, if you ask any of my clients, they'll tell you, I've never ever once laid a hand on one of my dogs. So, abusing a dog to get a dog to submit is probably not something you should be doing. If you follow Gary and you want to tell him I said so, that's fine. If you think his methods are great, continue doing it. I think they're horrible. I think they're inhumane. And I think he is not a dog trainer. That's my opinion. So now we're going to talk about another trainer. His thing is making dogs submit to him. So he gets on top of dogs and he basically, he covers over them. He smothers them. And this particular video, he decides to try that with a very strong pit bull. And it didn't go as well. But this is his tactic. He has a lot of followers. He has a lot of people that are following his videos and trying this stuff at home. He always puts, if you're not a professional, you shouldn't be doing this. You can tell in the video, he is not a professional, but he's doing it. And if you say that, other people will do it anyway. Never do this to a dog ever in your life. I don't care what you're thinking about, and you don't need a professional to tell you, you should not be doing this to your dog. So stay tuned and watch a dog whisperer get dragged across the field. Do not try to attempt this on your own. Okay, now ordinarily when I'm submitting, I don't get on top. But Houston's a very powerful dog. We want him to relax and we want to let him know that we can't have him mounting or biting at us. Now remember, when you submit... Remember when you sub submit, submit, submit. This is only supposed to be done by a professional, by a professional, by a professional. No one at home should try this. Okay? So now I'm going to start massaging. All right, so did you enjoy that? That had a little laughter into it, I bet. Don't do that with your dog. Do not try to climb on top of your dog and make them submit. And if you're following this clown, please stop. There's other ways to get a dog to be submissive in a human, humane way. So this video, there's a dog trainer, and she's going to show you a trick how to get a puppy to stop nipping you. And her trick is she's going to take her finger stick it in a dog's mouth and pinch the dog really hard now do not do this do not infl infl inflict pain on your dog to stop them from nipping you redirect them with a treat or a toy that's just energy and you know you just don't do it it's a bad idea but this is her idea of showing you how to stop your dog from nipping you and what you're going to do is you're going to cause a lot of issues with your dog down the road that's going to take a real professional to fix it. So do not do this. Do not injure your dog. Do not pinch your dog. Do not do things that make your dog hurt. Okay? Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you liked the video. We know you don't like that. Or you can do a little lip pinch. 
a little lip pinch and say no. You can do a little lip pinch, a little lip pinch and say no. You can do a little lip pinch, a little lip pinch and say no. Lip pinch there. And when the puppy stops, good girl. You will reward the puppy for being good. Good girl. You don't uh, break, you don't break bonds or, or relationships. Uh, there she, ah, uh -uh, no. Good. You don't break bonds or relationships with um, the puppy for supplying, no, a correction for the nipping. You know, you can also do a little finger um, tuck in there. They don't like that. It's just going to be like, oh, that's not fun when I do that. And All right. So that's what you saw. That was her pinching her dog with the stop her dog from, I don't know where she got that from. That's crazy. Don't do it. It just sounds weird. And it didn't, didn't sound like anything you should be doing to a dog. So even if you weren't a professional, just don't do it. So this last video is going to be a group of people who are going to use the spray method. I'm sure they heard it from a dog trainer somewhere down the line. I'm sure some of you've done it. Everybody's heard about it, especially the old wise tell that if your dog poops in the house, rub their nose in it and, or, you know, pop them on the nose. Like they all, I mean, people still do it to this day. They won't admit they do it, but don't do this. Anyway, so this, these people are going to take a spray bottle and they're going to commence to spraying their dog with it. And that's going to cause their dog to have a neurotic behavior. They're going to be laughing it up. They're going to be enjoying it. And it's going to be so funny. And the problem is, if this poor dog ends up in a shelter or rescue, it's going to have neurotic behavior. 90% of what dogs learn is with humans. And then when they do this stuff, humans will claim they didn't do it. It was a person before them. And it takes a professional years to try to fix it. So that's what you're about to see in this video right here. We'll get right back and then we're going to wrap this session up. <laughs> <laughs> Spray again. Spray again. Spray again. Spray again. <laughs> So that was what our take on some dog training you should be doing. And again, using a bonker on your dog is not a good method. It's not scientific. It makes absolutely no sense. I'm shocked that he spent years at a shelter beating up dogs this way and no one thought it was something he shouldn't be doing. I'm shocked that he was able to get paid by a lot of people to go to a seminar to show him doing this to dogs, which is amazing. I'm shocked that he has so many followers and people think that he's a great dog trainer and don't really see the abuse in what he's doing. So that was that. Don't lay on your dogs. No one's doing that. I have very dominant breed dogs. I never lay on top of them. I never make them submit to me. I don't do all that crap, okay? I just train my dogs. They understand what I want them to do and they do it. All this extra laying and smothering and choking dogs, it's not dog training. It's just random BS that people make up to call themselves dog trainers and dog training. It's excuses. And again, if you find yourself sticking your hand in your dog's mouth and pinching the crap out of them and calling it dog training, you're wrong. Don't do that either. Redirect them with a toy or a treat. And finally, do not be spraying your dog in the face with a spray bottle. It's just going to make their behavior worse and exacerbate the, and just bring out so many other problems with your dog. So, again, thank you guys for watching Madison Bell Canine. Don't do none of this stuff. And, again, it's abuse. Nowhere where you get around it. You shouldn't be doing it to your dogs. And you guys have a great one. Madison Bell, Jungle Sugar.